Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. My name is Chris. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time ever to my channel, I, I would like to thank you for joining me um, and being here. I hope if you like the content of the channel that you'll do those YouTube things like like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It'd be very much appreciated by me. Um, this is a crafting channel that mainly focuses on diamond painting. Um, so if this is your thing, I hope you like it. And to all my dear friends and returning True Blues, thank you for continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. So uh, without further ado, welcome. Here's the video. Thanks for joining me. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome. So what do I have for you today? I have four items for you. Sorry, just trying to make a little room here. Um, from my dear friends at Fantails. It's been, I think, quite some time before, or I should say, since I've done something from them. Uh, so they're kind enough to send me these items to review for you all. Um, I have three special drill canvases and one off canvas project. Um, so as always, uh, these four products will be linked down in the description box below, as well as any other pertinent link like um, you know, social medias, Facebook groups, event information, you know, discount codes and all that good stuff. So definitely when the video is over, check these out from fan sales. Um, it would be very much appreciated by everybody. Uh, even if you just look at the site and, uh, see, I'm sure you'll find something you'll love if you love special drill stuff, especially. All right. So let's get right to it. I'm going to actually do it what I usually don't do. Let's do the off canvas one first today. So it comes in the box. Here we have it. Um, you know, it's always good. They always come very nicely in these and, um, you know, packaged well. Never have problems with it. And so it is another hanging product. I just love these off canvas stuff. They're so nice. And they're super fun to do. They're great for gifts. Either to give, you know, fully done. Try for the crinkle. Or to uh, just give, you know, uh, as is. Sorry about that. I got interrupted. Um, but let's continue. As I was saying, um, this is a really great thing. So um, all diamond painting uh, kits will come with a basic toolkit. A pen, a tray, and some wax. Uh, we have, since it's a hanging project, a chain. Uh, and these are actually really nice chains, too. They're, they're not a weak. They won't break. They're pretty substantial chains. And finally, our little drills here. And we'll get to them in a minute in our gems. But first, before we get to that, let's show you what I actually have. So this is the size of it. Um... Let's see, I don't, I don't have a, the, uh, oops, I should bring you up a little bit so you could see better. I don't have a measure here, but, um, you know, it's not gigantic, but it's not tiny either. Um, it's, you know, a little, it's bigger than my hand. It goes to the palm, to the wrist. And it's this really pretty, like, cherry tree um, hanging project. So this comes off in the back of course it's not going to want to do it right well trust me <laughs> i don't want to waste a million uh minutes here but they have this protective cover on the back that makes it look opaque and so when you're done just pull the paper or the little sheet off and it'll be clear so it'll look really nicely at least this should be all of the other ones were I really want to make sure, because uh, you never know, this could be like have a frosted look to it, but I think I'm getting it, but I'm never also afraid I might be pulling the back one off. No, here it is. See? Yep, I was right. There we go. Oh, it is white anyways under in the back anyways. So uh, it's not going to be, you know, you're not going to see clear through there. I'm actually just going to take it off. Well, no, I'm going to leave it on. I don't want to scratch it. But, um, yeah, so it's a protective. And uh, you do where any, all the numbers are. Um, and it looks like there's probably about eight drills and rhinestones in this one. So, again, very pretty. So let's look at our gems we have. P 
pink rhinestones, a very dark purple rhinestone. It's a plum color. I'm kind of like a neutral. Again, another dark purple. A ver another dark purple, like a wine color. And those are our rhinestones. And the specials are our friends' tiny pink slivers. We have some red, smooth, top, faceted teardrops, as well as some hot pink ones, and light pink ones. So the, obviously the most of them are gonna be the sevens, there's gonna be the light pink ones, the red ones are the nines, so there are nines. So there's just a couple scattered around. And the eights are the hot pink ones. So it'll give it a nice little contrast of uh, the, the, the three teardrops. I'm actually going to put the chain in here as well so I don't lose that. Get rid of this box for right now. And again, beautiful. So let's look at our special uh, uh, regular canvas project. So here's our first one. Um, we have two 30 by 30s and a 40 by 40, I believe. So our first 30 by 30 is this one. Uh, so up here we have our uh, item number, the size. We have 11 shapes, colors, and sizes. It looks like there's eight rhinestones and three special drills. Again, this is very pretty because of the colored background, so it's not a white background. It's a really pretty design back here. We have, you know, the rhinestones with all these swirls and lots of special drills, which is again why I got this one, because love me some specials. All right, let's look at what our gems look like. As usual, I'll try to have at least one of these done for you by the end of the video. Whether I have more than that, who knows? We shall see. Okay, we have a kind of a grayish rhinestone, it looks like. It's not, doesn't seem he doesn't look clear. It's like a gray. And we have a very light, like spice kind of pumpkin y. Uh, again, we have a, a sort of grayish rhinestone as well there. We have a purple, a pink, a hot pink. And those are our rhinestones. And then our specials, we have half gold balls, about smaller ones. We have faceted pink iridescent uh, rounds. Lots of these uh, purple, um, like royal purple teardrop faceted ones. Then again, we have those hot pink flat top teardrops and pink half pearls in a pearl, you know, the pearl, uh, pearlescent look. So this is gonna be very pretty um, when done because it looks like kind of like the swirls and these kind of look like they're sort of like flowers. Um, and that's how, that'll be, like to me, this looks like wisterias or lilac kind of flowers. Uh, so yes, so this will be really fun to do. All right. Our third project is this one, another 30 by 30. Again, the item number is up here. I keep remember, have to remember to, I don't, I'm not getting in camera enough. So over here we have four rhinestones and it looks like five special drills. And this one is uh, of a lady dancing with a big old giant dress on and with some flowers dotted around in the back on the bottoms and then it was up there. And so very nice. It should be very pretty. Okay. Let's see, Let's see it. This this one. Oh, I love this color. Beautiful teal. So all in that area where you see this blue, that's where all this gorgeous teal is going to be. Then just a little tiny bit of purple. And kind of the, fl the flower down here. 
then a lot of this um, kind of a medium sort of pink, a carnation pink. And that's the three, and that's throughout, that's gonna make up her dress. And for a brighter pink, which, let's see, just that like kind of just outlines, again, some of her uh, arm here and over here. So the majority are the teal and that, these two colors. And then we have our specials, which are some big pink roses. We have marquees in an aqua blue faceted. Some large gold balls. Um, some of that smooth marquee in pink. And more marquees in a, a pink purple iridescent faceted. So she's really going to be sparkly and and zhuzhed up when she's done. There we go. And finally, my favorite of the bunch is a 40 by 40. And this is really super nice. Let's look at it. Again, so here's our item number. There are seven shapes, colors, and sizes, and it looks like there's four of them are rhinestones and three are special drills. And she is a fairy with her beautiful wings and her hydrangeas, flowers down here. She's holding like a large, what looks like a lily, a lily staff. <laughs> Very pretty. It, only thing would have been prettier is if this had a colored background. But lots of uh, specials to do on this one in the hydrangeas and on her leaves and all that. So let's look at our drills for this one. Okay, ooh, some really pretty green. Wow, look at that bright green. So that's the number one. That's going to go in these leaves over here and the flowers. And then there's this sort of a, it's a, it's a yellow. It's, I, I can't think of a word to describe it, but it's a light yellow. That's the number two. And that's going to go a lot in her wings and on her, her uh, corset up here and her hair. Three is the pink, and that will go a little bit in her wings on the, some of the flowers, and on this flower, flowers down here. And finally, we have this um, like tealish, light teal blue, which is number four, also on the wings over here, and some dotted in here. Also, some of that. Uh, Pink is also down here in the flowers as well. Then our specials, we have the iridescent uh, smooth teardrops. And those are the number, let's see, that's A. So you see those and these hydrangeas over here on this end, uh, in her hair, on the flower over here, down here, here. And then the white version of the same drill, very pretty. Look at all those, tons of them. And that is the, is that B? Yes, that's B. And those will go on this side and all of these and these. Then we'll have C, which is those, again, those light pink, um, smooth marquees. And those will go down in here and in here and all up in her wings and, and the, the lily here and in our, on our head over here. Oh, there's two bags of those. So that's why uh, I was wondering what the other one. So yeah, that's what we're gonna have. So two bags of those as well. Uh, very pretty, beautiful. And I love the watercolor look of the dead down here. Lovely. So this has a lot on it. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna actually wind up doing. Hmm. This could be a possibility. I definitely won't be doing this one because there's a lot to do on here. With the rhinestone work, I'm trying very hard to get my current 
regular drill project done. So um, I'm going to probably maybe get certainly one, but maybe two of these done. Um, and probably it might be these two, I think. I'm going to shoot for these two. Um, our hanging project and our beautiful fairy here because of all of the special drill work and the, the uh, not so much rhinestone, but I can think I can really go quick on those. So again, what do we have? From fan cells, we have our fairy. We have our hanging project of the, like, it looks like a cherry tree to me, but it's whatever kind of tree you want, a pink tree. Our lady dancing and some flowers so abstract <laughs> so thank you all so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed the unboxing again um check them out they'll be linked down below and stay tuned for uh the finish uh clip all right so thank uh but i'll give you my sign off right now thank you all so much for joining me today i truly appreciate you all uh you mean more to me than you ever know and until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Okay, bye, guys, and stay tuned for the finish. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I have not one, not two, but three finishes for you. So let's not waste any time, and let's get to them. The first one is the hanging project. So I went ahead and attached the nice, really sturdy chain to it. Again, there's the back. I removed the film. As you could see, I actually made some problems right there. <laughs> with uh drilling because um you know they put the the, the piece of uh, covering on the other side when you drill but if you scratch it with your pen or something uh it can really take this film off um it didn't matter though you can't see it on this side so uh for instance like it's over there you, you can't see it really um so Anyways, it's really pretty. This this is that kind of thing can happen on any of these special projects that has the coating kind of thing around here. Um, I will say that it's not the stickiest of glues, so uh, I don't seal anything, and I don't plan to seal this. You know, it's just going to be hanging up. I'm not going to be touching it really. But if you know you're worried about stuff falling off, or if you you know tend to move things around a lot, and you're just worried, or if you are a sealer. Um, Definitely, I would seal this one. Again, it's not the stickiest um, of glue on the this one, but um, it's they're certainly staying on, and it's certainly very, really pretty. And it, again, it was really fun to do with all of these specials on there like that. And it went fast because, again, you know, it's just some rhinestones up there and around the tree and just all that specials. So that's the first one. Our second one is this one. So this is like the flower one, which um, I kind of think of as like, kind of like a wisteria sort of thing. Cause this kind of looks like it. It's not, but, and you have the swivels over here and it's very pretty, the really pretty background um, blends in very nicely. And again, lots of specials up in here. Uh, again, this is really fast. You're able to uh, multi-place uh, basically most of this with the, with the multi-placer because the, you know, kind of curvy line, straighter, straighter kind of lines on this one. Uh, you just had to kind of push or push them around to fix them a little bit sometimes, but that goes a lot faster when you use the multi-placer actually. So, and I really like how these flowers came out too, these, uh, gold middles and then this kind of like a, uh, grayish sort of. I, I don't even know what the color I would call that, but I think they really stand out. So that's number two. And the third one. The third one is the fairy, and it's the 40 by 40, and it's my favorite. It looks really great, guys. And by the way, I didn't have any problem with the drills. I didn't run out of anything. Had plenty of everything. Look at her. She is beautiful. So again, same thing with the rhinestones. I could basically multi-place with the rhinestones on all, basically the whole entire thing, wherever you see rhinestones. And then just single place all the specials. Look at all these beautiful specials. Down in here, you have the whites and the pinks. Here are the whites and the blues. Again, all up in here. It's so pretty. This is beautiful. I love this one. I got her companion piece. 
Again, these the flowers look kind of look like hydrangeas. I love how in her headpiece they have like the sprigs of what would you think maybe like baby's breath sort of would be, but of course all different colors. Really nice. I love how they put decorated her wings, as well as the um, kind of like the bodice over here and across um, her chest line with those um, rhinestones making them look like flowers. Just really, really pretty. And again, I love the watercolor look on the bottom. So even though there is a little white, too much white in the background, maybe up here, but you can see her outline of uh, herself and the watercolor kind of for her dress at the bottom and her legs, of course. Um, but this is really, really beautiful. So here we are, our three finishes for you. I hope you enjoyed them. Again, everything will be linked below in the description below. Um, so if you wanted to check these out specifically, you can, and just go to the site and see what they have to offer. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate you all. And until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.